to an effort to prove, in an effort to prove, the Quran is so heavily agreeable to modern science. What happens if modern science is wrong? Does the Quran always change to reflect the changes in science? That's a very good question. It's a very important question, and we Muslims should be very careful while bringing compatibility with the Quran and modern science. Therefore, I said in the beginning of my talk, I will only be speaking about those scientific facts which have been established. And a scientific fact which has been established, for example, the earth is spherical. It can never go wrong. Established science can never take U-turns. But unestablished science, like hypotheses and theories, can take U-turns. I know Muslim scholars who have tried to prove Darwin's theory from the Quran. Nonsense. So therefore, we should not go overboard and try and prove everything of modern science. We have to be careful to check up whether it's established or unestablished. If it's established, Alhamdulillah, with scientific proof, the Quran will never go against it. If it's a hypothesis, it may be right, it may be wrong. Like Big Bang Theory. It was a hypothesis early. Earlier it was a hypothesis. Today, after solid proof about the celestial matter, according to Stephen Hawking, etc., it's a fact. So Big Bang Theory, today is a fact. Yesterday it was a hypothesis. Once it becomes a fact, I use it. You know, there are hypotheses saying that human beings have been created from a single pair of genes, Adam and Eve. I don't use it. Because science has established, it goes along with the Quran. It goes along with the Quran that we have been evolved from one pair, Adam and Eve, peace be upon them. But I don't use it because that is not an established fact. So therefore, while bringing a correlation between Quran and science, etc., see to it that you use only those scientific facts which have been established and not hypothesis because Quran is far superior to modern science. I'm not trying to prove the Quran to be the word of God with the help of science. No, not at all. What I'm trying to do, for us Muslims, Quran is the ultimate criteria. For the atheist and for the non-Muslims, maybe, science may be the ultimate criteria. What I'm doing, I'm using the criteria, the yardstick of the atheist, and comparing with the yardstick of the Muslim, the Quran. I'm not trying to prove the Quran to be the word of God with the help of science. What I'm trying to do, when I'm being a compatibility, and I show the superiority of Quran that what your science has told us yesterday, Quran has told us 1400 years ago, I'm trying to prove that our yashtik, the Muslim yashtik, the Quran, is far superior to your yashtik, the science. Therefore, you should believe in Quran, which is far superior. Hope that answers the question. Thank you, Dr. Ryan.